hi hello lovelies i have got a very very brief video to share with you today with my review of the three shades i bought from the milani new line i did a quick little reel of this as well which is on my instagram as well of just watching them so i'll just have that to the side here instead of like going through the whole thing again you're probably like um if you're reviewing lipsticks then why aren't you wearing one right now <laughs> oh sweetheart i've been wearing uh this one today actually and i'll just insert some other pictures of like what the other colors look like as well because i've been wearing these a lot because i've been really really enjoying them but the color i've been wearing today is 190 covey covet um, and as you can see, my lips are still stained from it. So I'm actually just going to reapply it really, really quickly now and talk to you about the formula. This is how it's looking right now. Clearly, uh, me trying to be Gen Z cool today is just not working with this middle part. But anyway, as you can see from this formula, this is a very rich, very pigmented formula. This entire line of lipsticks is vegan as well, which is fantastic. But what I've been finding is they are so comfortable to wear. As you can see, they're very, very pigmented. They're very nice and glossy, which... I really like and the packaging is very very cute on them but in terms of like what these lipsticks do what they're meant to do so they're meant to be like this wonderfully rich moisturizing powerful bold pigment and it's like it's you, you can see it definitely is I've been really really enjoying this at work as well because my lips get so super dry the formula of this is so nourishing I've been just loving it at the office when i've been at home i've been using these when i've been filming my videos as well because they're just nice and comfortable to wear um you can of course add a gloss on top it just makes it even more glossy obviously they're not very long wearing though and that's why i definitely want to hammer home to you because when you've got like a more wet formula like this if you drink a lot like i do or if you're eating or something you will absolutely have to be reapplying this and in my opinion i'm like that's okay because it's comfortable like we are not in the days of 2016 when we all had cat butt lips you know like we want to have like comfortable lips right I like the price of these is very very reasonable the quality is really good I do not know if I can say if it is comparable to that Fenty lipstick that people are like oh my gosh it's just the same thing because I've got no idea because I'm the parent company of Fenty so I don't use them even though I still miss that foundation because it was incredible I wish I could use it anyway the pigmentation and comfort factor of all three of these that I've tried so far is amazing. Let's have a look in terms of the cleanliness around the lips because the one drawback to these, as with any moisturizing lipstick as far as I'm concerned, is the fact that you have to be very, very careful with your application of it, right? Because if you're not careful with your application of a very bold and moisturizing lipstick, you're going to get terrible feathering. Now, I don't tend to suffer from feathering too, too much, but as you can see, I put this straight onto my lips and no moisturizer, no lip liner. So when we've had Zoom meetings because we're back in lockdown in New Zealand, woohoo! I've actually just been blotting this onto my lips to give it a little bit more of a liveliness to my poor sad little lips. Um, so that when people see you on camera, it's like, as long as you've got your brows on and some mascara on and that, like... The pixelation kind of throws everything else off so it looks like you've made a really good effort but you haven't really it's been good for that too so you can have a full-on effect with it like this you can blot it down make it easier and if i blot this down as well it makes it a bit more matte so that way you're not too worried about it like smearing or whatever um i have had no issues with this i've been so loving all three of these formulas i was a little bit worried about this one because it is literally barbie pink but then I've actually been really enjoying wearing it. If you've seen one of my Disney videos recently, you'll have definitely seen this as well. I've just been loving the formula, loving the color of them. And I think that they are fantastic drugstore products that I would happily be recommending to anybody if you're on the market for a nice nourishing lipstick. If you have quite deep set lines around your lips, that may be a bit more of a problem with a product like this, but I think you'll find that anyway when it comes to like super like wet formulas when it comes to lipsticks. So this is my final review. I just wanted to check in with you and show you how these colors look with again I'll put the pictures back up on the screen now so you can see like I've been wearing these with all sorts of looks as you know i love colorful makeup i love color in general so for me this has been working incredibly well and i hope that this has been useful for you because it's been a few weeks 
I like to share my thoughts. I like to know if there's a good lipstick out there. And so anyway, lovelies, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again next time. Bye. One of my friends said that she thought I was advertising something else when I was holding these up before, but it's, um, no, it's not that. <laughs> these would be pretty dismal if they were that.